Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to finally finish part three of the Weatherby series. So we're going to be covering from the 340 Weatherby Magnum all the way up to the big boy, the 460 Weatherby Magnum. We're going to talk about the ballistics, a little bit about the history. If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and talk about the 340 Weatherby Magnum. Okay, guys, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that uh, I have a little special place in my heart for the 340 Weatherby Magnum. In my opinion, it's my opinion, I think this is one of the most underrated cartridges in the world. Uh, it's shooting a 338 bullet, extremely fast and efficient. So what this is, is a 300 Weatherby case necked up to 338. Roy Weatherby introduced the 340 Weatherby in 1962, and it is a bit faster than the 338 Win Mag. It beats it around by around 200 feet per second, maybe even a little more. Uh, it's very close to the Lapua in performance. Let's just go ahead and look at like a 225 grain bullet that you would hunt with. You can get it well over 3,000 feet per second. Then with the 250 grain bullet. Uh, 2,900 plus feet per second. That's extremely quick. In 1998, Ed Weatherby introduced the 338, 378 Weatherby in a commercial cartridge. It's obviously been wildcat, wildcatted before, but uh, it had now been offered in a rifle from Weatherby, and they now sell uh, the ammo for it. And this is the most powerful 338 cartridge. It beats the Lapua around 100 feet per second or more, depending on how long the barrel length is. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the ballistics for this, this bad boy. Okay, So just shooting a 225 grain bullet, it's going to be going over 3200 feet per second. It's really fast. Getting into the heavier bullets. 250 grain going over 3,000 feet per second. So yeah, it's a heavy hitter. Uh, if you're in the long range shooting, uh, I think this is one of the better ones to get. Next up, we have a cartridge I don't think many people know about. Uh, this was actually developed in the 40s from Roy Weatherby. And it's based off the 300 Weatherby case. Obviously necked up quite a bit to... Uh, a 375 caliber bullet and what it does for you is give you extremely good performance uh, when comparing it to the popular 375 H and H or the newer 375 Ruger it actually beats it by about 200 feet per second let's go ahead and look at the ballistics for it okay looking at a 270 grain bullet it's going 2,800 feet per second. And if you put in that big 300 grain bullet, look at that, 2,700 feet per second. Again, the 375 H and H can do it about around 2,500 feet per second. So I think this is a, a cartridge that kind of gets overshadowed by its uh, newer, much bigger sibling, the 378 Weatherby. But um, I, I definitely think this cartridge is still extremely relevant. All right, now we're gonna get into some of the, the real thumpers, the ones that uh, are gonna give you an extremely sore shoulder. This is the 378 Weatherby Magnum. It was introduced in 1953. Uh, the parent case is it's loosely based off the 416 Rigby, uh, obviously enhanced, and it is the most powerful 375 caliber, and it's kind of not even close. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the ballistics for this this big cartridge. So at 270 grain bullet, it's going 3,100 feet per second. Blistering speeds. A 300 grain bullet, 2,900 feet per second. It's pretty insane how powerful this cartridge is. In 1989, Ed Weatherby introduced the 416 Weatherby Magnum. And at the time, it was the most powerful 416 cartridge. And I believe why Weatherby introduced this cartridge was, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but at the time, uh, countries in Africa started making laws that 
you needed to hunt dangerous game with uh, 40 caliber bullets or bigger. And so technically they weren't allowed to take the 378. Now correct me if I'm wrong guys, I'm not an expert on this history. So I think what uh, Ed Weatherby was thinking was that he wanted to make something um, very close to the 378 performance, uh, but not as big as the 460. So this is what we have. And so let's see what it shoots, a 400 grain bullet, and it is going 2,700 feet per second. That's pretty darn quick. And again, this was the fastest cartridge at the time. Uh, it wasn't until 2005 that the, the, the next page over, the 416 Barrett, which is based off of 50 BNG, came out. The 460 Weatherby Magnum was introduced in 1958 by Roy Weatherby. And at the time when it came out, it was the most powerful commercially available cartridge you could get. It's based off the 378 Weatherby case necked up to 458. Let's go ahead and look at the velocities. With a 350 grain bullet, it's going 3,000 feet per second. This is insane. I have a 4570 and I can shoot a 350 grain bullet roughly around 2,000 feet per second. So yeah, this thing's a big hitter. Going up to the 500 grain bullet, you can shoot it almost 2600 feet per second uh, it's it's pretty insane so with all of this power uh, there's nothing you can't kill on this world uh, with this cartridge all right guys before I let you go I just wanted to show you the velocity that's from factory Weatherby ammo and what the energy is uh, these things are really hard hitters Let's just compare it to a 300 Win Mag. 300 Win Mag is a, a big 30 caliber Magnum, and it produces around 37 to 3,800 foot pounds of energy. So, starting with the 340 Weatherby, with a 250 grain bullet, the uh, velocity straight from Weatherby's ammunition is 2963. The energy, 4,800 foot pounds of energy. So that's a thousand more foot pounds than a 300 wind mag. All right, it's only going to get crazier. Okay. The 338, 378 Weatherby. Using the same 250 grain bullet, you're going to get about 100 feet per second more. Energy goes up to almost 5,200 foot pounds. It's a lot. Okay. The 375 Weatherby, one of the older ones here using a 300 grain bullet going 2800 feet per second the energy is 5200 the 378 Weatherby probably one of the hardest hitting Weatherby's uh, recoil wise with a 270 grain bullet yeah a little bit lighter it's going almost 3200 feet per second and the energy over 6000 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle Oh, again, this is all at the muzzle. Okay, moving down to the 416 Weatherby. So one of the newer ones. A 400 grain bullet going 2,700 feet per second. 6,400 foot pounds of energy. So 400 more than the 378. And lastly, the big guy, the 460 using a 500 grain bullet and it's going 2600 feet per second so 100 feet per second more than what the reloading book says 7500 foot pounds well guys thanks for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, just to send it off I just want to show you uh, this is a, a box of brass for my 300 Weatherby and uh, their saying is nothing shoots flatter, hits harder, or is more accurate. And I'm going to have to agree with them.